Have you ever asked yourself, how does the healer actually get their power to heal? And how do they receive that power from God to heal? Where does the authority and dominion come that enables them to heal? You know, and first of all, they recognize what they have to do to get the healing power is to go to God and ask for it. And they realize how much of it that God has and how willing he is to give them and how willing it is to enable them to heal. But then also they realize what the healing will do for the person needing to be healed. And they see the, the condition that the person will be in after they're healed. And, that, and they got a real vision of how great that is and how wonderful that will be and what that looks like. And they take that vision to God and they let his power flow into that perfect vision. And that grants them a power and authority like nothing else can because they know and understand what all is taking place and how it takes place and where the power is flowing and how it flows. And they see the person as healed and they see how marvelous and wonderful all that is going to be when that person is healed. And then they're able to be totally thankful and grateful and open to God's healing power. We cannot begin to think that we're going to just heal somebody without going to God and actually asking God to grant us the power to do so and for God to actually grant us the authority to do so and for God actually to show us how to do so. So, so in short, the dominion and the power of the healer comes directly from God as we get under the power of God, as we get under that spout where the glory comes out and we receive healing of our own mind and spirit first. There's things in our own mind and spirit that have to be healed before we can have the dominion and power to heal others. And so we have to ask God, what are those things in my mind and spirit that need to be healed? And be willing to allow God to heal those and understand that he can do so and start thanking him for what you know is going to be the result. And you know it's going to be marvelous. And uh, you tell God, I don't care if it's shocking when I receive that healing power. And I don't care if it's shocking when I see the changes in my own self that has come from my being healed. I'm going to enable you to perform those miracles with me and through me to make those changes that will give me the power and dominion to heal others. So it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful thing when we realize, you know, we humble ourselves before God and say, well, God, I know I don't deserve to be able to receive this power or this authority. But if you will grant that, then I will be faithful and I will be grateful to you and I will come to you every day in prayer and seek more power and dominion in that area of healing. And I will spend time actually understanding the gift that I have and actually understanding the power that I have and actually understanding how vast is the dominion of God and how vast is the dominion he can give me in the area of healing. So healing becomes, you know, like a marvelous blessing that, uh, we, that God is all ready to give us, that God has tied up in a package ready to give us. And as we begin to get under that spout where the glory comes out, and we begin to get in that river where all those wonderful, mighty blessings are, then it becomes a natural thing that our conduit is open to receiving a great amount of healing power, a lot more than we had before. 
And so we gain a certain amount of dominion over illness and diseases, and we're able to bless people in that way. And and but we're humble about it, and we always know that God can take it any time. But but God is going to. We're going to go to God all the time, every day, and spend time, you know, uh, letting Him refresh us and letting Him keep that power flowing. We're going to, in short, we're going to let Him begin to take away the imperfections in our own life. We're going to be again to let Him work on holding up our ability to see things as they really are. So, in short, you've got to. If we really want to make a short statement, you've got to learn how to see things as they really are. See things as God sees them. God sees, God actually sees the person already healed. God sees them healed. And God sees that person in that perfect harmonious condition. God knows what that is. God created them that way. And they got, a, 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 you know, it, it, things in this life and in this world and in the Mass consciousness and everything has caused sickness and illness. And uh, whatever the reason, all the reasons are that it's, it's come together and caused that, that illness and that disease, God's true love and motive and power and creation of them was in the desire that they would be healed and be in a perfect condition, and so he sees it that way, that God ha holds, he holds up here, you know, an image of each one of us that is perfect, and is perfectly healed, and has perfect dominion and authority, a person, he sees us as a person who loves God, and has a purity of heart, and a person that, that flow, perfectly flows the joy of the Lord, Perfectly flows the happiness of the Lord. Perfectly is in tune with God. And that we, we are a person that goes to God and praises Him every day. And thanks Him for the blessing He gives us. He sees us as a person that spends time communicating with Him. Because He created us to communicate with Him. And so He sees us in a condition where we can perfectly communicate with Him. And that's in a condition where we do not have an illness that distracts us from communicating with God. So God sees that image, and so the healer, in order to have dominion, he has to find out how God sees the individual that he is praying that will be healed, you know, that he is providing the healing power to, that he's uh, doing the healing work with. He's got to go to God and ask, God, how do you actually see this person, and can you paint that vision clearly before me and show them? You know, they, they may have physical changes. It just totally destroys the original image that they were when they were first, either first born or, or uh, if they were born with certain difficulties. They, you know, before that was even caused, they, they uh, uh, may have that. Uh, but, and it may not even show you what they are now. It may not even show you what they're really like or the image that they really were or how, what they really look like. Or, or uh, there may be some diseases in the body that cause a pain on their face, or problems in their life, uh, uh, distractions that make them unhappy or unjoyful. And so you see a, a sad, unjoyful maybe person, or even bitter because they don't understand what is eating away at them. Maybe a disease for a formation or something that is causing pain, and therefore they're they're easily agitated. And so you see a person like that, an agitated person in pain or, or something like that that's not really even the individual. I mean, if you're looking in a, in a mortal material sense, you see that it's not even the real person. And so you have to go to God and pray in your prayer room, Lord, let me see the real image of that person, who they really are and what they are really like and how, what is this image up here that you see them as? How do you see this person? This person up here, and what? How do you? What do you see them look like? And I am going to begin to form that image in my mind. I'm not going to see any more the image that is in the physical. I'm going to see that it's showing now in the physical. But I'm going to see that image that you created them to be, and I'm going to see that perfect well condition, that perfect whole condition, 
that perfect powerful condition that they can be in, the perfect sense of dominion over their life that they can have, the per perfect sense of having uh, energy of all kinds to do whatever they want to do. I'm going to see them in a, in a position where they're running for 10 miles without even getting tired. I'm going to see them in an image where their eyes are perfect to see everything completely and uh, much more even in 2020 where their ears are perfect to hear everything even the smallest pin drop i'm going to see that image i'm going to see the image of them upright erect without any back problems or anything and i'm going to understand what that is then i'm going to understand what image you have of them and then i'm going to begin to pray that that would come forth now. Let your image of the person come forth. Let your let your image shine forth from their eyes and their ears. Let your image shine forth from their body right now in the name of Jesus. So if you need to be healed right now, I'm going to pray that God's image will begin to flow perfectly in you and you will throw off any sense of illness. You'll throw off any sense of pain. You'll throw off any sense of worry and anxiety. And I pray right now that you will be healed in the holy name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Oh, yes, and if you're needing an anointing to heal, you know, you're trying to heal, you want to heal, you're loving people, you're striving to heal, you're striving to get in that position, that you will now receive the anointing to heal people, and you will begin to see the correct image of God and of the, your healing ministry and of people being healed and of people getting authority in the meeting. You'll see that now, we pray in the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Give people power, give people authority, give people energy, give people healing. Oh, God, let your perfection come forth. Let us see people in their per perfect form. In the name of Jesus, our Holy Son, amen, 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 amen. Oh, praise God for his mighty mercy. I still feel so grateful for having no way. Thank you, dear Jesus. And I'm not going to be grateful for that. And this thing, uh, <laughs> oh, dear Jesus, bless me.